seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Are you listening? Ricky J Sports. What is going on my fellow YouTubers? This is Ricky J Baby from Ricky J Sports and welcome to this UFC 3 beta video. And I'm going to call it trying to make sense of the stand-up game. And I'm using Nate Diaz right now. And in UFC 2, my patented striking combos, I'm going to show you guys how you can't do it in UFC 3, was always to start off by hitting down low and then with my opposite side kicking. So if I had to go with a right straight to the body I would try to complement that with a back kick so like this and you could do that in the game yesterday when I was trying this game out I couldn't do it so what I'm doing is just pushing L2 for the, I'm gonna talk PS4 talk baby but it's L2 and then L1 and kick but I'm not moving anywhere with my left analog and you're able to kinda of pull that off pretty smoothly if you see that so you guys try that out and you, I'm pretty sure you could do it on the opposite side too so it's a nice little thing to have. The Ricky J combos are back, but the only problem is it's really hard to pull that off if you're not in kicking range because your opponent really slows you down by hitting you with those pitter-patter shots up top. So you got to be careful if you want to go for that shot. <laughs> See that? It kind of... I'm, I'm optimistic, man, because it's flowing nicely. I mean, you got to just pick your shots. But in a way, you don't want to use that as your primary form of offense because like I said if you get hit it kind of negates that combo so what you want to do is you want to use your fist and I understand man um, that people are saying that you know in this game it's really focusing more on the punching side of things but that's how it is in MMA too when you see an MMA fight it's usually that the boxing is which dominates the fight and then in some cases, you know, with like um, Donald Cerrone or Barbosa, they utilize the kicks. But typically, you got to be good with your hands in order to take out your opponent. <laughs> Look at I'm using the Ricky J combos. I'm going to do a Stockton slap. Oh, the Stockton slap action. But this is against the computer that's not doing anything. Let's try to face off against the computer with some skill and see if we can implement some of my skills that I've been working on, man. All right, here we go, people. Let's use our striking skills, man, our little tips here against Dustin Poirier. And we are Nate Diaz. And I want to see if I can, you know, show my boxing skills that I've sort of developed, but also use a little bit of some UFC 2 action, the Ricky J combo, if I can get into kicking range. And a lot of people are saying that Diaz's boxing is just lightning fast. Do you think they should change it? Oh boy. And it seems like the stuns happen a little too much, you know? You get stunned and it's not, I'm not in fear as much getting stunned in this version than I am in the other version, you know? Like look at him, he goes down but you can't really can't really do much. There's the Ricky J combo. But nice fire back. Down he goes again. See that? There he goes. See, he's just getting rocked. And down he goes and it's over. Wow. Lightning fast. So that's my new style, man, that I'm going to incorporate online. Is, you know, use my boxing with Nate. But really focus on that down punch high kick, man. I really feel like it stuns people and it hurts people. So let me know what your thoughts are on my nice little tip, man, on the striking realm. And give me your tips too, man. I'd love to hear from you. All right, people, this is Ricky J, baby, from Ricky J Sports. You are the best, man. And you are awesome.